Hello students, today we are going to see in this video the role of all these things like Khadi, Dastkar, Gandhi Gram and Auroville in sustaining okay, the environment. It is very important, it's a need of the hour okay? and Khadi is something that has not come up just recently. It was started by Gandhiji and it is not about the fabric. Okay, basically Khadi stands for anything that is naturally woven into thread or yarn and that is like maybe from cotton or silk or jute but then this term does not denote only the fabric but it's actually a movement okay based that starts from the spinning wheel or the chakra and it is rooted within the inter, it is a, an integral part of the Swadeshi movement. What do you mean by that? That we have to be, we as Indians, we develop and we encourage Indian products and we are independent and self-reliant. That is the basis behind this Khadi movement, okay? So initially was it was started with the chakra and then it was all about the fabric and now it has spread its tentacles to other areas also because the point about this is now after establishing it to a certain extent, this Khadi and Village Industries Commission was set up, okay? this started encouraging all kinds of cottage industries and small scale industries. So all the villages who have, were very good at, see certain villages will be very good at pickles, maybe some people can do jams, some people can be into knitting, some people can be into weaving, some people could be into pottery. So all these cottage industries and we should not forget that there are a whole range or whole lot of herbal products that we get out of Khadi. Okay, so in Khadi stores, you do get a lot of herbal products and remember they are against using chemicals. Okay, so they are 90% to 99% it's organic in nature. So it is very beneficial and Khadi honey is there and there are so many other things if you could go and explore. It's really good, but this is because of Gandhiji. Okay, then fulfilling his visions were two people, Dr. Saundram and Dr. Ramachandran, who came up with a place called Gandhi Gram. Again, this was a very small place, inconspicuous place in Tamil Nadu, but it was selected and that is where a rural university has come up because in and around this place there are many, many villages and they do not have healthcare, they not have, do not have education, they do not have the skills, okay, so they are talented but they don't know how to pull in. So that is where this rural university has sprung up and it is it is funded, funded by the government. It is a deemed university right now and it has a lot of vocational training. It develops and it just develops the people in and around this area, all the villages and they come up as self-sustaining individuals by the end of it. And not forgetting that there is a huge hospital that's there named as Kasturba Hospital, which caters to the needs of the poorest of the poor in and around this Gandhi Gram. There are a lot of villages and they don't have healthcare systems at all. And so this is one place where they can turn to and they can be sure that they are treated well, okay? So this is about Khadi and Gandhi Gram and more to you about Daskar and Auroville. Now moving to Daskar and Auroville, okay. Daskar is a society for crafts and craftspeople. Wherever you go, wherever, which, whichever country, you, whichever city you go, if you say Daskar, immediately they'll say, oh, it's full of handicrafts, okay. So how does it come there? It is not easy because these crafts people, they are from rural areas and even if they are in the cities, they are in nook and corner and they are mostly, invariably, they are on the lower side, socially backward classes and they are not very economically sound. They need money. They don't have enough money, funds. Such people come under this society and it is the work of six women. Can you imagine just six women who started this in 1981 and it was headed and still the chairperson is Ms. Laila Tyabji. She does a lot of work among them. She is a real asset to the country, okay? Now, these are the people who are bringing up 
the women you can see this picture there are many women who are working okay it's all the craft and the handicrafts of these people which are taking such shape and it comes out as such beautiful objects okay and for this how do we go about this see there are many things there are many functions behind this dastkar of course it is bringing up these people together but it's a great job what are they doing by then it cannot be the same old things people today we want new new things something modern something different and so skill upgrade is a must so these women they are training and they are giving training to others to upgrade their skills and then they provide them with loans okay so they make arrangements for loans and then they give them the raw material many of them may be skilled they may be highly efficient and very talented but they don't have the raw material so they provide them with the raw material many of them would finish their products but how to market it they do not know so that's what this daskar is all about okay next we come to oroville oroville is a place it was it was a barren land okay it was a waste land and it's converted into a golden green belt today and this again has many things that is going towards a sustainable development okay we, we are talking we are thinking about sustenance right sustainability and here are some of the things that they have done okay the first thing is the rainwater harvesting many many a time a drop of water makes an ocean isn't it little drops of water so here is uh, that they are practically they are practicing what they are preaching okay they are collecting they are not wasting and they are saving all the rain water and that's getting harvested and they have fields and they have orchards everything is supplied by this rain water harvesting then you have the waste water treatment whatever waste it's a township so now there will be a lot of waste water that's coming up that is being treated and the water is reused for certain purposes then you have battery operated cars there are no fossil fuels used there they are all electric electrified and they are battery operated then you there is a speciality over there in all those buildings it's all made of ferro cement what is this ferro cement it's nothing but the cement and the mortar and everything combined together but it is put inside a mesh of wires this the material that they use for the mesh is really really superb because see you can uh, bend them into any shape of your choice okay so that's about the ferro cement this is about the wastewater treatment then you have the battery operated cars then you have the rainwater harvesting not only this there are many other things like agriculture is there orchards are there farms are there orchards are there and everything else about this the latest problem that we are facing is about plastic and this is one area where they are very strict about it there's no compromise they are very strict and they say no to plastic so whatever is being sold would be in cloth bags they all use whoever enters and whoever goes out has to use cloth bags or maybe paper bags but never have a plastic in hand it is not allowed okay so these are the main things that are they are working towards sustaining the environment without degradation so that's about our bill so if you have liked this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video stay tuned for more videos bye bye till then